Me need three, fuck, two food, weak dog. First, prefer roll for the day when me feel calm. But if me no feel calm, do the maths real fast. Vibes kitchen and the place when me speak on. Cook, give me an any or any boy. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the sorrel sauce from scratch. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. So, this is what the sorrel looks like. This is dried sorrel. This is what it looks like, actually. And then after it's dried, then it looks like this. And I got this pack on Amazon. Never used this brand before, but I'm going to give it a try today. So, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to take out a few of these. I'm going to wash them and then we're going to boil it. One thing I forgot to add, this is a cup of water that's in the pot right now. So, when boiling your sorrel, be careful not to use too much of the dried sorrel because that will make it tangy. However, if it is too tangy for you, then you can always use some water to dilute it. Alright, so, as you can see, that's what the sorrel looks like after it's boiled. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to strain sorry, into the pot that I'm going to use to make the sauce. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to grate an onion into the sauce. All right, so from here, I'm just going to cover this and allow it to boil for a little bit. All right, so I'm going to add two tablespoons of ketchup. And I'm also going to add a tablespoon of sugar. So again, I'm just going to cover this and allow it to cook for a little bit. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of Maggi. And I'm also going to add about a, a tablespoon or so of barbecue sauce. So at this point you're gonna taste and if it's to your liking then you can leave as is however I want to add a little bit more sugar so I'm going to add one more tablespoon of sugar to mine all right so give that a little taste that's perfect so just so you know sorrel has a bit of a tangy flavor so if you want to add a little bit, bit more brown sugar, it's completely up to you. But for me, what I added, the two tablespoons, is perfect. From here, I'm just going to cover this and allow it to cook for a little while. So while that is cooking, you're going to get two teaspoons of cornstarch. And then you're just going to mix this out in a little bit of water. So just so you can see, this is a very tiny container very tiny and there is that much cornstarch all right so now I'm just going to go ahead and pour in the cornstarch I'm just going to give that a little stir I'm just going to turn down the stove just a little bit. Alright, so there you have it. That is the sorrel sauce. Hope you like this video. Again, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. If you decide to give this sauce a try, please let me know and let me know how you like it. Until next time, peace. Vibes kitchen at the place where me there now. We get the nicest food when the fire out. The paper hot, got no water.